Hello guys and thank you very much for joining me in this uh, short series where I will show you how you can use Gearbubble, a very popular website platform uh, to generate an online income, to build an online business out of uh, creating different types of designs and uh, selling them on different types of products like coffee mugs, t-shirts, uh, necklaces and other type of products like that. Obviously, you might think at first sight that uh, this type of business or model of business is dedicated to designers, but uh, that's not true. Anyone can do this type of business because even if you are not a designer, you can uh, work with someone who is a designer, uh, you can take care of the marketing part or you can hire someone to create the designs for you or buy the designs already created. So there are different ways of, uh, of doing this business. Now, first things first, I want to get you introduced into the actual platform to see how it works. Basically, let's say that you have a couple of very cool designs, both created by yourself, uh, created by your partner, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you can do is use those designs to sell them through this platform. Basically, uh, on the platform, you will automatically apply the designs on t-shirts, on coffee mugs, exactly like I've told you earlier. And you just have to upload the design. They will do all the shipment, the fulfillment part for you. The, they take care of the orders of the logistics and everything. You just have to take care to have a cool design and uh, to promote the actual product that you want to sell, okay? So first things first, let me show you exactly how you can create an account on this platform. So the platform is called gearbubble.com and you will see that there are different spins that you can take for this business, okay? There are different ways of, uh, of doing this business, but let's first of all create the actual, plat uh, the, actual, uh, the actual account that you'll need in order to be able to sell this stuff, okay? So go to gearbubble.com. Uh, you will have some options here. Uh, for me, it's uh, as you can see, I've just signed out because I was already logged into the platform. Uh, you will have an option to get started, okay, start selling your own products today. So you will create an account for free on their platform. I won't take you through the account creation part because it's actually very, very easy. So you, it's nothing that you have to worry about, okay, it's just a couple of uh, fields to fill in. Uh, which are personal information, email address, password, name, and that's about it. And after you have created your account and confirmed it from your uh, from your email address, uh, you come back to the to the platform on gear, gearbubble.com. You will have an option here, login. I will press the login button. That's what you will have to do as well. And you can see that I already have my information here, remembered by my browser. I will check this option remember me so that the next time I don't have to log in again I will be already logged in when I enter on the platform and what I want to do right now is press on the login now button and basically here it is my dashboard I've just logged into my account okay so this is the dashboard it's actually very very simple you see that you have some options here basically this is your menu get paid stores uh, invites discounts reports affiliate dash launch campaign uh, basically what's very cool about the platform is that you also have a, this affiliate dash option so it allows you to sell your products through affiliates so to give out uh, affiliate commissions okay to people who are promoting promoting your products uh, in my opinion this is one of the best way that you can use to promote products because basically you don't have to pay for traffic and you don't for traffic that you don't know that will actually convert you are only paying for traffic that sells okay so that's why affiliate marketing in my opinion it's uh, it's one of the best way to go in any type of business then you'll see that you have this option here stores and i won't go into a lot of detail with that because in order to be able to access this uh, the stores part okay for you to be able to create a store on gearbubble you need to have at least three products live and how do you put a product live out there where first of all you have to launch a campaign. Basically a campaign is adding your first product here on the platform to be able to sell it, okay? So let's see how we can add our first product, okay? First of all, we go to the launch campaign. We click on this. We have some options, traditional, couple, club, stack, store. We want to go for the traditional one. Okay, <clears throat> and here it is. So the first thing that we have to do is to select our product. Okay, you can see that this is a three-step process. Select your product, create your design and add a description. 
So you can see all the types of products that we have here. We have coffee mug, necklace, bracelet, shirt, or hoodie, phone case, hat, beanie, pillowcase, poster all over and leggings, which is actually pretty cool. So we have uh, we have like the 11 products. Yeah, 11 products from which we can choose. So we can use the same design to sell on 11 different products, uh, which can be very profitable, obviously. Right, but some of you guys maybe just want to do designs for coffee mugs, some just for shirts, some some of you maybe just for beanies or for leggings. I don't know, I, for example, I've never tested leggings, but I think it can be pretty profitable and cool, okay? But I will just go for this example with the first option that we have with the coffee mug, right? So I will click on the coffee mug and I will press the next step button here and here we go we are into our next <clears throat> into our next step okay from the process you can see that we have a button here upload design uh, basically you have to click here you already have to have your design ready already created in order to be able to put it on the coffee mug okay uh, you can see your design when you apply it like this or you can check this point here use full wrap image so you can see basically uh, how it how your design will come on the whole on the whole coffee mug you can see that this area here is the center of the mug okay why because it's round the mug is round so we cannot see how the design comes uh only if it's in this wrap mode okay but i like to, to see it like this <clears throat> but anyway if you just want a simple design that it's applied on one side that's okay if you want to see the whole image just use the full wrap image right uh, then after you upload your design and i will just upload something for the test you have to choose the default style so you have to choose the type of mug that you want to use okay and you'll see that you have like three or op uh, four options here okay this one is the small one uh, the variation the metallic variation of this one and you also have the color changing mug so basically the color changing mug is that type of, of mug which when you pour hot drink into it hot water or something okay because of the temperature uh, you will actually be able to see the design otherwise it will be black okay so when the mug it's empty without any uh any hot drink in it okay it will be black or when it has cold drink in it it will be black but when it's uh, when it has hot uh, a hot drink like coffee tea or something it will become white and allows you to see the actual design right so this can be something very interesting but i will go for the normal one right now and uh, after that we have to choose the color so we have the def default color we can see that we can add other colors as well we have white and black let's go for add color click color to remove okay. add color no so basically for this for this type of product we have only these two colors okay black and white now let me show you how the design looks like if you upload a design on it so let's upload our graphic you can see that you, you have some requirements here like maximum file size, file types, uh, full wrapped image dimensions, each dimension, background must be transparent, logical. Okay, so taking in consideration uh, these requirements, especially the file size and the file type. And I will just click on this button, upload graphic. I will look for cat. I know that I have downloaded the PNG icon with a cat. So this is it. I don't know if anyone would buy this, but this is for just for the example. Okay, so this is our design and this is how it looks on the actual mug. Okay, now we can play around with the design. I mean, we can move it, okay, wherever we want. But we want it in center. Okay, we can rotate it if we want to. As you can see, you just have to go with your cursor over the image and you have all of these options, right? You can resize it, you just have to click here on this small icon and hold the click pressed, okay, and drag and drop to change the size. So I think this is a good size for this, okay. You can center it, okay, and that's about it. So this is how it will look, okay, this is how our mug will look with the icon on it. Then you can see that the next option that you have is the base cost. So here is basically the price at which you sell and here you can see the profit that you make for every sale okay now what you want to do probably is you want to check out the marketplaces out there okay where people buy coffee mugs like the one you want to sell and see which is the average price and go pro probably for that price or even 
a little bit below or if you if you sell something that is similar to other products you have to go for the same price or a little bit lower if you sell something that has uh, something unique and that's how it's recommended you can go for a little bit higher but not too much okay i don't know for example if uh, a coffee mug sells for 90.95 i think it's a little bit much i would sell it for example for 9.95 or 11.95 and i think that seven dollars for a coffee mug it's more than enough in profit i mean if you sell like five this every day it's more than enough in profit for a single model that you have of coffee mug right then you can also give your design layer a name so you can save it for the future you can also add a text layer to the to the design if you want to or another photo layer but i don't want to i i just want to leave it like this okay you can also duplicate the image on the black on the back sorry that means that on the other side of the coffee mug uh, you will have the image the same image put again okay and if, when you are done with, when you are done with everything you just have to press next step okay so we'll press next step and bear with me for a couple of seconds till the whole campaign loads till till the app loads actually so this is how the, the coffee mug will look like pretty nice right uh, you have to give your campaign a title be sure that you give a, a good title to your campaign an attractive title because this is what your customers are going to see your potential customers okay like super cool cool limited edition cat coffee mug okay something like that and that's it then you have the description okay uh, the description field it's already populated by them but you can add your own things in here your own details like the coffee mug dimensions okay the details about the design and stuff like that if you want to okay uh, like how many how many pieces are available you can uh, add scarcity in your description and other things like that so it's, it's your option obviously and after you are done with the description you have to choose a category for your product which is by the way optional but it's recommended at least i recommend you to do so and we will choose animals then you have to add tags like coffee mug okay cat lover okay cats mug okay store <clears throat> funny and that's about it okay so this is just an example you can add different tags uh, i recommend you to add keywords and stuff that are relevant for your product because it will be easier for people to find it that way and it will also help you maybe in time to get traffic from other places like uh, google the google search engine and other things like that then you have the campaign length okay and basically the campaign length length how much you want the campaign to to last okay like six days okay five days and when do you want it to end okay to select the hour then you have to choose a url to create a new url for your product funny cat okay so this is our url start selling uh, set selling price so this is our selling price button text so you can choose the the text on your button by now campaign options evergreen so basically even if you have chosen the campaign to be only five days basically the campaign will be evergreen okay so you will be able to sell and sell and sell again and again set back as default side to show uh, for the product now we want it in on the front terms of service okay everything it's it's ready right now okay you have to check the terms of service obviously as well so check all the details once again so we can be sure that you didn't miss anything and after all this part is done you just have to press this button launch campaign okay and basically you will see that you are ready to launch your campaign okay so this is it guys very very simple our new campaign is now live let's check it out so you will see that we have this link here okay so this is our campaign okay 11.95 super cool limited edition cat coffee mug okay buy it now so this is how your page of your product will look like okay you can just i think i've 
I, I didn't put the C in here in the funny, it's funny at, it should have been funny cat, but anyway, <laughs> we got the idea, this is just an example, so no worries. Uh, what you want to do is copy this link here and promote it in any places you want, okay, in order to get sales or you should have a marketing strategy before you launch a product, that's the whole idea. Or I will show you a couple of places in other videos where you can sell your products. Actually, this is the the business model that I was talking to you about. Okay, so you can give different spins to this to to this business model. Either you already have a community centered and passionate about your niche, or you can use different uh, different techniques to get sales for your products. Okay. Now let me go back because I haven't showed you an, a couple of other things here. You can view your campaign to see exactly statistics. You can optimize this campaign, select related campaigns, select an upsell. You can upsell people, maybe sell also a t-shirt. You can set up a pixel. Okay, maybe you want to install a Facebook conversion pixel on your page so you can retarget people after that. So you can do all of this, this type of things, but I won't go into any details because it can be complicated. If you already know how to do Facebook ads, you know what Facebook pixel is. Uh, an upsell, I think everybody knows what an upsell is. Basically, you can create another another product, okay, with a different design or the same design like a t-shirt or a bigger mug. Maybe people will want to buy two mugs or the metallic mug or something like that. And that's about it. So you can go through these options as well if you want to, okay? So this is it guys for this video. I hope this uh, was helpful for you. I'm looking forward to see that you have created your Gearbubble account and you have set up your first campaign. And I'm also looking forward to see you in the other videos and in the next lectures as well. Bye bye till next time. Sorry in here.